Uh, so what's it like playing Nickelback? Uh, it's been fun. I mean, like it's, a, it's like the same world, but different responsibilities. It's been nice to like learn something new, put my skill set in a different kind of part of the field. How would you describe the difference between the, that and what you were doing last season? Um, there's more like run fits. Like obviously I got to be involved in the run game some more. I got to understand spot dropping instead of, you know, playing press man as much as I was like in the past couple of years. Um, I mean, Coach Nelson just came up to me first and asked me how I'd feel, like, after playing like, in that dollar package we played last year, how I'd feel moving, trying out some star, and I, I just said I would do it. Like, I would do what's best for the team, like, if he thinks that's, that's what's best, I'll play whatever. So, yeah, that's pretty Why do you think the, the dollar package was so useful from last year? I think it was nice just to have all those DBs on the field, like, just match speed with speed, and, like, you know, cover cover anyone we want to, no matter who they put out there with all those skilled guys on the field. Do you find yourself going out more against slot guys or more against uh, running backs? Uh, more slot. I'll be on the slot some more. A uh, good amount tight end, not as much running backs. So when you embrace a new position, do you study other players? How do you go about just trying to understand the, the nickel back position mentally? Um, I mean, yeah, like, I, I talked to Gunner, obviously he's played star before. Um, I watched some, some tape of Earl Thomas when he was at Texas. He played like in that in that slot position stuff. So. And like obviously Akina has a boatload of knowledge to give, so I pick his brain all the time. So what, what do you what do you take away from a coach like Wayne Akina? Oh, I mean, he's just teaching me so much about football, like with he's tops of that forty years of experience. Um, he just has he's seen it like the game developed, he's seen every different kind of route concept offense give to you. So he's just been doing his best to give me all the knowledge he has because he trusts me to soak it in. So uh, you've seen a lot with this program over the last few years. Look from 70 to 7 Territorial Cup to now. Talk about the, the evolution of the program since then. Oh, it's just night and day. I mean, everybody in Tucson can feel it. I mean, Coach Fish has really come in and just turned this program around. Um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, he's really come in and done a lot for the for the city. I think the the team obviously knows we have way, way more confidence than we were, and you know we're just excited to get this next season. Going. And then the, the the spring game, what what do you take away from the last couple of years and just everything that goes into that? I mean, I think the spring game was just a fun event. You know, right at the end of spring, after all these hard practices, long practices, and then like yeah, it's just gotten better every year since Coach Fish has got here. Like we got like double the amount of alumni coming back this this weekend, so it's all good stuff. As a DB, I'm sure you're excited about meeting Antoine Casey and Chris McAllister. Very much. Um, have you talked to any other former DBs in the past that have played here? Mm, I don't think so. Obviously, other than Coach Ciso. Yeah, no, I think those are because yeah. Those are, I've heard. All right, that's our time. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you, Appreciate you. you. Appreciate it.